Hey everybody, how's it going? Buddy Blackbird here with a Photoshop CS6 tutorial about working with panels today. And I'm going to go over the different types of uh, panels that we have and where they are and just how to use them to uh, the fullest extent. So all our panels are pretty much going to be over here on the right. <clears throat> and we can add panels and uh, subtract panels and they have different options. So the first thing we want to do to uh, add different panels is we can either click on these tabs like this to switch between the different panels that are are not showing like this and there's there's panels in each of these sections here or we can come up here to uh, to the options up here to window and then we can add some of the panels here that we haven't uh, that aren't seen yet like I'll add in this one that says notes since that one's not up there yet and uh, there's the notes panel and I can bring this notes panel and I can drag it into one of these other panels if I would like so uh, that's how you do that now when I open up my notes panel a layer comp came with it that's because the notes panel was in this section right here I'm going to drag it back to where it was. So as you can see, some of these sections here are uh, there to hide the different panels so that you don't have a bunch of them in your way. So this one will be the paragraph panel. And if I click on that, I get my character and paragraph. And they're uh, in this general area right here. Then we've got our um, actions and our history here. Now, if we want to get rid of the panels, um, you can either close and hide them like by clicking on this uh, double arrow button right here, and then it'll close and hide them. Or to get rid of uh, them from the view completely, click on it and drag onto your uh, area here. And then we'll get the X button right here, where you can click on that and it'll totally delete it out of, the, uh, out of your view. So when I go to open this again, it's not going to be there. So what we're going to have to do to bring it back is go back into Window. And the one that we deleted was called History. Click on that again. It'll show up again. And we can just drag it back in there if you want to. If you're working in uh, Photoshop and you don't want any of these uh, panels to be in the way or anything like that, you just need to work on whatever your... Uh, this whatever the image is or whatever you have in your uh, canvas then you can press t tab on your keyboard and you click on it and uh, that'll put everything away so you have a bigger work area so that's pretty nice something that I find uh, pretty useful that I like to turn on that is on the by default in uh, Photoshop is um, when I click on um, one of these panels to bring them out here like this sometimes they're in the way of what I'm trying to work on and if I click off they don't automatically go away but there is a way to make uh, the panels automatically go away so click on the panel uh, that you have make sure and then right click on it and click on auto collapse iconic panels And if I click on that and then I go to click off to work on this it'll automatically uh, collapse and you won't have to work on it anymore or you won't have to have it in your way anymore. So that's uh, pretty useful in my opinion. And uh, the last thing that I want to show you about is the uh, options menu on the panels. So each panel has one of these option menus over here to the right of them and even on the ones that you can pull out. So here's the uh, entire options menu and um, they all have uh, some different types of options to them so if I go to color here and go to these option menus they're all different so I'm not going to go over every single option menu but you do have the option to close close it which uh, deletes it out of there and if you need to bring it back come back to your window and click on it and um, you have the option to uh, close the entire tab group so that's all the way down at the bottom so each of these different uh, panels has a bunch of different options to it that you can uh, mess around with. And then I'll get into some of those options for most of the panels in uh, later tutorials after we get, go over the basics of Photoshop. So that's uh, 
pretty much all I wanted to go over with you with uh, about panels. So just remember that um, you can click and drag to rearrange your panels and um, you can open up new panels clicking by clicking on window and clicking on any of these here to bring up the panel that you want to look at. So and it'll automatically uh, switch to it even if it is up here. So thanks for watching this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you guys at more Photoshop tutorials. Have a good one everybody.